can you please talk about latent viruses and how our immune system keeps them at bay? Absolutely. It's so important. We're children. We have a host of viruses. I have a four-year-old granddaughter and man, we have had some ser series of infections just since school started in the fall. About every third week, something's back in this house. And that's typical when they're young and they haven't seen much in their immune system. Every bug that comes along grabs them and then they bring it home to grandma. So thank you very much. But the... <laughs> But most of the viruses in our system come and go viruses, like most cold viruses. You, you get them, you get rid of them. They don't stick around. But there are some viruses, particularly families of viruses, that once you have them, they never go away. They become latent that you keep them forever. Specifically, but not just, the herpes family viruses. Herpes simplex is the cold sore virus. Herpes zoster is the chicken pox virus. That, that's shingles. Ugh. That's miserable when you're my age, but, but actually it's a good example. So my little granddaughter, four years old, if she brought home chicken pox, which she's been vaccinated, so let's hope not, but if she brought home chicken pox, she would have a generalized rash and a miserable fever and it would last a week or two and it would go away. Now she has got a latent infection. I had that latent infection when I was three or four or five years old. So in my life now, my immune system is quite a bit older than that. I won't say the exact number of years, but hell, a lot. <laughs> and over time, my immune system becomes less and less fewer of that army to help protect me. And so I'm at risk for my chickenpox virus to reactivate. And when it does, it reactivates in the cell that it was infecting at the time, which in the case of shingles is the nerve endings, the, the sensory cells. And that's why it's such a terribly painful reactivation thing, because when it reactivates, it makes a rash exactly where those nerve endings are. And that's why you see those patches, because it's in just this one area, the way that nerve broke up into its little branches. That's what pops open with the virus. So that's a reactivated virus, shingles. And my do granddaughter would have had the primary infection, chicken pox. Right. And it did take 50, 60, 70 years for the immune system to get stupid enough to let it back out again.